Hello, and welcome to a lesson in studying the mind. I just realized that everybody else's Buddhism videos about studying the mind, they don't feel, I was just feeling like I had to compose myself and have a bunch to say right off, right, right, right off the bat, but how about let's just uh, wait for five minutes while I bring a call. Not really. Let's get, let's get down to it. I'm... I'm going to teach you how to steady your mind. This is not easy. The first thing about studying the mind, check out how difficult it is. Your mind is rather unsteady, usually. Minds go all around finding out all different stuff. That's not even a problem. It's not even, that's how minds are supposed to work, right? It's not like we're going to fix the mind into being steady in general. Okay, we're just going to, when it's useful, when we want to sometimes learn how to study the mind, even though usually what it does is be curious and look after things, right? Stuff happens and the mind's like, ooh, oh, mm, well, what's that? All right, so um, and one of the basic ways that your mind does that is by habituating, by getting bored, right? So another way to say this is that we're going to uh, overcome boredom. And, and focus the mind in spite of boredom, because boredom um, would incline the mind to looking all around at all kinds of stuff. All right. So to steady the mind, we have to deal with this problem where the mind is, is uh, not wanting to be steady in general, for good reason, because that's what it does. Uh, it's, it wants to get bored of stuff because to find out new stuff. So rather than just being vague and saying, we're going to attend to the breath, the breath, right? That could mean lots of things, right? And our, and our tendency to investigate and to be into stuff would be like, ooh, okay, I'm, I'm bored of the breath. What there's, I can feel the breath down here though. Ooh, the breath, there's breath here. Breath, oh, I can feel the breath. Ooh, breath, 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 breath. Ooh, then the breath is affect. I can feel how the breath is affecting my elbows. Oh, all right. All right. So rather than just the breath, we're gonna, uh, you know, like, all right. Specifically, the feeling when your breath comes out your nostrils. I'm gonna, you know. I'm going to choose that the breath coming out of my nostrils and going on my upper lip, I'm going to look out for that. All right. So that's just to be, just to be clear, right? We can, I mean, we could choose anything technically, right? But and since it doesn't matter, how about specifically the feeling of the air coming out when we breathe onto our upper lips. Now, there's um, many problems. This is difficult. All right, it can be difficult. It can be very easy and it can be very difficult because we're just doing one simple thing, but it's also sort of against the natural nature of the mind, <laughs> like the, the, the habitual, like the way the mind is designed to hang out, right? So it's, it's a simple, easy, direct uncomplicated thing we're doing that is also could be tricky in weird ways so because all right uh for one thing the feeling of the breath coming out onto the upper lip is inconstant it's not gonna like it's it's not gonna be as much or maybe not at all while we're breathing in and then only sometimes you're gonna you're gonna feel it and then and as you try to pay attention to it it's going to seem to be less and less because you're habituating to it it's and your and your mind will start to um take interest in other things your mind will just naturally be like okay well we got that it's definitely and it's like it's it gets bored right so um but we're trying to steady the mind upon this upon this upon something upon anything <laughs> study the mind at all uh so so um the, the there's various things to avoid um there's there's no trick to it which you just keep your mind there but there's various things to avoid that will happen that you will try to you will make problems you're going to make yourself all kinds of problems so um one problem that you will make yourself if you're using the breath right is you must use 
you must use the un um the 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 not the the breath that you don't choose the the unstructured breath the unchosen breath just just breathing like the way you breathe because you will get bored okay and then you will start to change your breath to try to do stuff with your breath to make it interesting at all um you'll start to move energy around or just breathe enough that you can feel it or so and 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 to keep and you'll be like losing you're losing it right it's because you're trying to follow the sensation and it gets and and you're getting used to it and it gets really subtle and you're trying to follow it right so you start to be like where's my breath and you start to like push your breath in order to have a thing to follow right so you're like there it is oh i found it right okay but but don't 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 you 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 want to improve your following not the not not to make it stronger right like don't you're not just trying to bang a drum to i mean that's one way that's one that's one way to study the mind bang a drum unless that's kind of the point of rock music right bang a drum and that'll get people's attention but um we're trying to train the mind to uh, practice to practice well even when distracted oh, mind training slogan um so we want to be able to steady the mind without uh without making a ruckus you steady the mind calmly so uh the unforced breath the uh, just just the way that um you 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 receive the breath Right. See what it happens. See what happens with it. You don't have to make any. You don't have to do anything to make breathing happen. Right. So just see what happens with the breath, and see how it becomes subtle. Expect that it probably will become more subtle as you be habituate to it. And then don't go chasing after it. It becomes subtle. And you're like, where did it go? Where's my breath I was following? I was trying to pay attention to my breath. Where is it? And but do not go after it. Here are two different here are two different stories I know about how to not go after it. Don't do it. Don't go after it. Um here's okay. One story is there's a boy who's keep taking care of some uh buffalo, water buffalo. And um and he falls asleep. <laughs> He's, he's out in the woods with the buffalo, and he falls asleep, and they're all gone. Okay. It, it is not going to work if the boy tries to go after the buffalo, like roaming all over the woods trying to find the buffalo. Just, there's no way. He could spend all day and try to go everywhere in the woods. It's not going to happen. So what's the boy going to do to regather all the buffalo he was supposed to take care of? Well, the story says that what he does is he goes to the watering hole where the, so all of the buffalo are gonna have to get thirsty sometime. So if you just go to the watering hole, wait there, and then you can gather each of the, oh, oh you got thirsty? Okay, gather together. All of the buffalo at the watering hole. That's one story. Okay. <laughs> Same idea, different analogy. The story of the guard at the city gate. The guard at the city gate just stays at the city gate. By staying right there, the guard at the city gate is able to watch what goes in and who the people going in and out of the city and keep track of what's going on. The guard at the city gate doesn't get doesn't just wander around after people when wandering around the city because then they would know where that one person was but they wouldn't know what's going on in the city so they stay at the gate watching i don't endorse either of these i don't i said it doesn't have to i said it's a boy and then i said there's cities with guards i just realized i don't endorse the content of these analogies but the point is the point is, you stay in one place 
and you wait for it to come to you. That's that's the trick. So and and you and and it will get lost and it will seem to get lost. You'll be like, what? Where did it go? And so you have to go. You have to. You've got a place you're waiting, like like you're waiting at this lip, and maybe you're breathing in right now, and 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 it's gone. But it's going to come back there. It's going to come back, and you don't have to. Um, you don't have to roam around finding breath or making breath. Don't try to make it the breath sensations by pushing breath, and don't um, don't try to go and and find an exciting breath to explore. Um, that we're going to make it exciting a different way. It's not that we don't. You do have to. It does have to be exciting to excite the mind. But we're going to find a different sort of excitement. Um, so. The thing is, as you technically, you can't technically you can't stable the mind can't become stable on on anything, any of your perceptions. It can only become stable on a certain sort of mind created object. But um, but that sort of, the sort of object that your mind can become stable on is the sort of object that emerges from a stable from you you're you're trying to stably perceive at the same place even as the even as the actual sensations are in constant and it doesn't it, it doesn't matter if you tried to use thoughts or um or feelings or something in more more like mental everything all of your perceptions are mental and if you tried to use something like like mindy like like an emotion or thought it would you would still find that those sensations the emotion or thought sensations are also in constant everything's in constant so um so even though everything's in constant we're trying to steady the mind that's tricky so we steady the mind at a place just uh waiting for this sensation like like the sensations are in constant like like the breath sensations might go away and something and we're like what's but but we can stay steady we can just stay steady waiting and then, all right, it came back. So, you be, you be, the, that's where, that's when his mind created, you create, you, you create it. <laughs> Us created. Um, the only, the only kind of object that can be stable is, is, is an object arising from our intention. That's, we are special and can constantly form uh, an intention, an effort, and an action that makes us stable in the mind but in order to do that we have to um we have to make sure we're not not so don't it's it's not stable if you're if you're forcing interesting things in the breath so that you can notice it that's not stable at all that'll be a mess because you'll keep you'll keep going around like you can make stuff happen in your body with 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 breath energy and you can look at all that you can be like oh my breath's down here you can be like oh my breath is in my lungs oh my breath is i feel my breath in my throat my nose my, oh wow how my breath my breath affects my eyes this is cool how my breath affects my eyes right so and or you can just attach other things you do to your breath, right? You can be like, oh, I'm totally following my breath. I can tell because <laughs> totally going in this rhythm. So this is my breath. See how my breath is going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's my breath. I can tell because it's going wah, wah at the speed, speed of my breath, which I'm totally know what that is because I'm going. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, but um, so it's not constant because any game you start doing with it any way start way you start playing with it you will get used to that too it will go back to being boring and you can keep if you're good at playing with it you can do a lot but not in a steady way not in a steady way not in like a steady getting down to work way right like where anyway, we're going to start like doing stuff so we need to we need to like a steady mind where we can work with it flexible what are the, what the, there's a good list of things where you're supposed to pliable right you're supposed to make your mind able to do stuff right in order to do that we need to be able to like direct it to anything 
And so we've got this problem where it's incredibly slippery, slips around, and whenever you direct it to anything, the thing disappears. <laughs> anything you direct your mind to disappears. That's a problem. So, but we're going to direct it to um, actually a mind-created object. But we're, you're going. You're not. You're not going to create the breath as and force the breath to happen. But you are. You're gonna. You're going to go to a place to receive the breath and you're going to go to that place constantly consistently even as uh, whatever around you or inside you is like what what this that what I'm, I'm bored maybe maybe something exciting is happening or maybe, maybe there's something there's something uh, a special sort of excitement to being able to control the mind <laughs> Oh, that's a very exciting thing, I think. I'm excited at the possibility that maybe the mind could come under control. Ooh. It's soothing and, um, and a relaxing, releasing to finally get some control over the mind. So it is, it's not, we shouldn't try to force the mind to something unpleasant. It has to be the mind has to be guided by to things that are that are that are exciting and and interesting and meaningful. Um, but uh, this is something that's exciting and interesting and meaningful, even though it's very subtle. So even though it will seem to disappear as you try to pay attention to the breath or any other object. Um, you can be constant. You can can guard guard a steadiness that you you uh, manifest intentionally and continue to manifest. You start to be steady and then you keep being steady, and the the sensations come and go. Very stuff happens, but you keep on doing it for you know for just. For however long you intend to, you know, for a few minutes or however long you intend to practice, not just it's uh, you just form a strong intention to to uh, consolidate your attention, and then and then if your intention doesn't all come together, that's you don't don't be mad at it. You have to, uh, Pema Chodron says to, says a lot about forgiving and having compassion for the, the, um, the wandering attention. It's important to be very kind to, uh, I mean, you don't, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's the only way to approach it. There's, you can, you, there's a Chodron Trunkpa way to approach wandering attention and there's a Pema Chodron way to approach wandering attention. Maybe we try both, but, um, investigate, the uh investigate the wandering intention and say hey what's wrong buddy we were gonna <laughs> we were gonna, we were gonna miss the attending over here what's wrong you know like why what what's got what and and like because i mean the basic thing is that is that it'll get bored because it gets so subtle and you and and just so just reassure all of the wandering bits of attention that it's okay it's okay it got so subtle it's okay if it gets subtle it's okay if the um breath seems to go away entirely if like if if it seems like it's not there just wait don't like like uh, that's it Things will try to, to 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 mess you up, you know, like like in Zen you'd say there's like demons. <laughs> These illusions and demons are just coming and trying to get you and just don't worry about it, right? And um i uh you can go into like specifically what phenomena are happening in the mind that cause these distractions but oh, or not because the main thing is just don't don't worry about it don't worry about all the stuff various stuff happens because of various interesting reasons and um it and your inclination is to follow after all this stuff right uh comma sensual desire right but that's not it's not like it's not like, ooh, sensual desire. It's just like stuff is interesting. You want anything to happen just because you want to, even if you're not like, not for like, you're like, 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 ooh, but like, maybe you're like, I want to do a good job meditating. I'm a good meditator, right? So I want what's 
what's going on? I'm trying to perceive the mind. So I'm looking around, like trying to, you know, you're being diligent and, and studying the mind. It's sort of, sort of, except, except, um, also most, of, mostly, mostly to bring your attention to the meditation object, even though, even though it seemed, it seems to go away. Let me know if that, let me know if that makes any sense. Did you, do you get it? It can, it's tricky, but you'll get it.